in uh, our parasha, Jacob is facing some real troubles. His brother Esav has just gathered 400 of his best fighters in order to find and to kill him. Now Jacob is uh, having a complicated situation. What should he do? Let's imagine you would call us, us the leaders of the 21st century who love to debate, to talk, and you would ask us for advice. I think that some of us would say, well, Jacob, you need to face it, get an army as well and fight your brother. Some others would say, no, that's too direct. Let's rather try to appease your brother. Let's do it on the diplomatic way. Let's be more polite and try to give him some presents and hope that then he will not attack you. And also some others would say, anyway, Jacob, it's, <laughs> you can't do much. It's about belief. You need to pray and to believe in God and he will somehow help you with this big problem. And we probably would fight and everybody would think that his opinion is the right one. And we'll tell Jacob, actually, we don't know or we have voted and we have decided for one of these three options. And to tell you the truth, none of these options would be the correct one, but we would have to combine all of these options. And this is exactly what Jacob proves. He actually faces this challenge with three solutions. On one hand, he actually do prepare for the war. Second hand, he also tries to appease his brother by bringing him some gifts on the way. And the third point, he also does pray and believe that God somehow will help him. But he uses all of the three solutions. And for me, this is also kind of a leadership lesson for the 21st century that Jacob is teaching us. He understands that the world, and today even much more, is very complex. We don't have, like in physics, one cause that leads to one effect, but rather several causes that lead to several effects. And this makes it even more important to have different solution, to have visions, to have understanding of the different aspects and to be agile, to be agile, to understand that every situation might be a bit different and always to adapt accordingly. So for me, the lesson here is, well, we have to stay nimble as uh, Lonnie kept on saying in his workshop on Thursday or Friday in, uh, in Chicago, or Agile. Really understand there might be several options and we don't have to think that one option is excluding the other. They don't have to be mutually exclusive. We rather have to combine these options. And with this mindset, I definitely believe that we are ready for the challenges of also this century. And uh, that's what I wish us.